are they gone? That is the question being asked about Omega Alpha of Hololive Production, whose lore video on the main Hololive English YouTube page has been recognized as being set to private. Tyler Not Taylor here with Omega Alpha Bros. It's over. Or would that be Crover? Showing here how the Omega Alpha YouTube page was originally linked on the main Hololive English YouTube page, but has now since been removed. And while Omega Alpha Alpha's YouTube page still exists, it still has never had any content posted, but still racking up over 152,000 subscribers. Omega Alpha originally being revealed at the end of the council debuts. It was discovered that Omega Alpha was listed as a producer on one of Iris's original songs, as then Omega Alpha's Twitter account would reveal their own character design and would begin to speak about Hall Live English as as though they were in the role of a manager. This Twitter account going in and out of inactivity until this time last year. As Omega Alpha would simply tweet out, I have returned on July 16th of 2022, then posting a very cryptic lore comic in Japanese of themselves, continuing then to retweet numerous Hollow Tempest tweets, and then returning to inactivity just one month later, with their very last original tweet having been back on on July 28th of 2022. Many now wondering if what has occurred to Omega Alpha's YouTube channel had also hit ASCII of Hall Live Japan. As for a time, her YouTube channel was reading with no content either. ASCII directly addressing this on Twitter, saying that her and management are looking into the matter. But as it turns out, this appears to be an initiative on the part of YouTube Music, who are underway combining numerous artist channels into one, with all of ASCII's content now returning. It should also be noted that she is a verified artist on YouTube, whereas the Omega Alpha account is not, and the now privated lore video was on a separate channel, the main Hall Live English channel. In addition, the link to ASCII's YouTube channel had never seemed to have been removed from any of the channel links on other Hall Live channels. This potential removal of Omega Alpha has been met with ambivalence by many Hall Live English fans, saying that the character was a wasted potential and further waste of a good design for someone who didn't actually show up in anything. No debut, no voice, no appearances on any official channels, and was seemingly in management anyway. Many now feeling that A-Chan, a Hall Live director, has since stepped into that role for Hall Live English, going so far as to hold her own English watch-along of the Hall Live English Connect the World concert. And while the Omega Alpha Twitter account is still open and can even still be sent DMs. We are all awaiting to see if this account will also be closed. As further along with Hall Live English, we also have Series Fauna, a talent that has always been known to have been bursting from the seams with creativity. Those creativities recognized by Fumato and also Fauna herself, who had gone to retweet this artwork, which she did not recognize, had some very transparent material in the chest section. This sleepy Fauna by way of Koari. Upon finding out about this on stream, Fauna would simply say it's still art and she had no regrets as she still found it tasteful. As later, Fauna would alert her followers that there would be no stream and then days later, tweeting out, hello, I'm sorry for the sudden announcement. I'll be taking some time off from streaming to prepare for some things. There's lots of exciting stuff coming up really soon, so please look forward to everything. I'm going to do my best to make it worth the wait. As always, thank you for everything. Thing. Fauna's fan base, the Saplings, not taking this news of a hiatus well. The Saplings now time and time again letting us know that they miss Mommy, but hopefully they don't miss this, a series Fauna platformer. Gabby saying wanted to spread the word of this cute and pretty challenging Fawn game. That work being done by True Shoe. Going on to also retweet about this fan game, The Ham Slam, a getting over it inspired game with tons of Fauna voice clips. And don't worry, saplings, we have heard back from Fauna. Naya showing off this perfectly legitimate DM, with Fauna saying to them, Hi, I know you're a very dedicated fan, and I was wondering if you could give me your address and phone number. I've seen some of your tweets, and I would like to personally pay for your therapist. And speaking of the Hall Live Council, we have here now these Councilress heart shapes. Arliss sharing these totally innocent pieces of artwork and bonking anyone who says otherwise. 
That is Council Riss had also been busy with a Big Smalls Relay. The five members breaking out their Big Smalls 3D models, and then finally all of them coming together for this collaboration stream. Receiving idol meeting artwork from Keen Biscuit, under the TV, along with Tensu Tensu, the members would go on to surprise their audience with this announcement of Council Riss plushies, including not just Iris, Fauna, Crony, Mume, and Bay, but also to the surprise of many graduated member Sukomo Sana. Having now been graduated for over a year from Hall Live English, with her also being the original designer of these big small models, fans would go on to rush out to collect them all. But as with so much other Hall Live merchandise recently, in many cases, the shipping had been greater than the actual total of the merchandise. An issue that both Hall Live and Cover Corporation have been trying to solve, but due to limited quantities and warehouse space, they only have so many places to ship from. Turning us now back to Amazon.com, further collaborating with Hall Live Production, and now offering these Hollow No Graffiti t-shirts, featuring all five members of Hollow Myth, a group still so popular that their recent English learning book in Japan is continuing to sell out and now going on to receive numerous collector's editions specific to the store that it is bought from. One of those members of Hollow Myth, of course, being Mori Calliope. Seen here waking up with some morning pizza as her silhouette was also captured here. This untitled work by way of Mayuki Harada while Callie herself would give us this work. The Reaper having illustrated this for her One Piece collaboration which now includes a fully animated music video. The original release racking up millions of views and this music video already racking up hundreds of thousands of views. Callie has even more on her plate including her upcoming EP. Showing off new stickers and badges for that release by Keen Biscuit. Callie also sharing photos of this signing session, saying the signings never end. That's okay though, because a lot of deadbeats are going to be happy. As many were also happy to see Callie get into the hentai game meta, with now numerous members of Hall Live playing Trouble Days, complete with artwork from Hosho Marine's character illustrator. After many unsuccessful attempts trying to censor the game as she was playing it, later Callie would say, Wow. A lot is being edited and will be up in a day or two. Callie also making an announcement for her upcoming 24-hour stream, saying, get ready for Mori24. We're kicking off a huge announcement with my first ever 24-hour marathon stream of collabs, games, singing, and more. Get your coffee and get ready on July 24th at 9 p.m. Pacific and running all the way until July 25th at 9 p.m. Pacific. And we're not done with Hall Live English. No, we still have Gal Gura recently revealing that her anime opening is now finished and will be uploaded on her channel this coming July 20th at 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Pacific. Gura herself recently being in Japan alongside other members of Hall Live English, including Nina My Inanis. Taking time to leave her exquisite mark here at the Hall Live Japan offices, complete with adding her shadow to the photograph. Nina also sharing, there is no way. Literally four kombinis I walked into didn't have Mentaiko Onigiri. It can't be everything else was fully stocked. That same day, Galgura tweeting out, how many onigiri can I buy at once before I get weird looks? You know, later seeing that tweet by Gura and simply saying, you. That exchange then going on to be memed time and time again by numerous artists, including Kroneko, Misos, Keen Biscuit, Super Apple Man, Cheggy Channel, Knife Cat, Shura, Lululu, Potato, Canned Wan, Top Quality Waffles, and Wishbone. Giving us this, you want this? Ina would further tweet, Guts was there when I praised Mintaiko on stream. She's asking how many she can buy. It all points to one thing. Yes, that's right. Well known. Hall Live English member Guts, captured here by Aperture. We are back with council member Hecos Bells, who, as a reminder from Kiyori, is colorblind. Bay sharing that she too has been in Japan, leaving her mark right underneath Iris, finding time not only to off collab with Crazy Ali of Hall Live Indonesia, the end result of that further being shared by Arliss, giving us this Yandere rat situation, with Bay also now calling all artists, saying, Brats, want to help Shiltaro? Help me 
show off my new EP with all your amazing fan art. That's right, we have a canvas submission campaign. Entries for this will be running until July 23rd and to be displayed on Spotify Canvas from July 28th to August 4th. But also turning heads recently was Mika Picasso, the character illustrator for Bay, having taken to Twitter to send out this alarming message. Reading to all my followers and related parties. There are some matters regarding my past actions and statements that I need to explain and apologize for. The truth is that I have used pirated versions in the past. I have also publicly stated my use of pirated versions on Twitter. About 10 years ago, living overseas, I was swayed by the environment and my understanding of copyright was naive. Despite being a creator myself, I was totally unaware of the violation of other author rights, something I should never have done. Mika Picasso going on to further apologize, with many of those in the replies coming to the conclusion that Mika Picasso was talking about pirating Adobe products. The continued subject of this long-standing meme, you can always pirate Adobe products, it's always morally correct. And what is also correct is Hall Live Summer 2023 is almost upon us, as incoming is the 3D Live Splash Party event, complete now with more unit info, as the three members of Chadcast, Bay, Callie, and Iris, will be attending Day 2, Night, with their unit simply titled Chad. Bay replying here with, you guys better get hyped. It has now been over a week since we have seen Noir Vesper or Magni Desmond of Hollow Tempest. All Line Production once again sending out a notice that it will be a while before they return to streaming and giving no further explanation as to why they are on hiatus. All of the other members of Hollow Tempest taking time to collab with each other, including Shinri, sharing this error on YouTube, reading live streaming isn't available right now. Nizi Sanji's Mika Melatika replying with try relogging into your YouTube account. I've had this issue a lot and relogging usually helps. Plus relogging in midstream shouldn't end the stream itself by the way so it's okay to do midstream too. Also getting Shinri's attention is Idol Showdown, the Hall Live fighting game. Here now with We Are Hyped to announce that we'll be hosting our very first official Idol Showdown tournament ever at EVO 2023. Shinri replying, oh that's so exciting. Congrats and good luck to all the participants. And speaking of Hall Live fan games, we have major news from Holocure, now releasing an extended trailer for version 0.6, which will include all of the members from Hall Live Indonesia, alongside Hollow House. That's right, Holocure now has a farming simulator within the game, complete with room creation and even fishing. This update slated for August 17th, getting the attention of Callie saying, whoa, new Holocure looks so good. Day before EP release, let's play it. As now for even more Hall Live news, we turn to our co-host Cody. Take it away. Ko hi yo. After more than two and a half years since her debut, she finally gets her 3D showcase. That being Pavolia Rene of Hollow Live Indonesia Gen 2, who kicked off her showcase with an introduction movie produced by Meriwether Media. Lucius further confirmed they wrote the short script and Das Doctor was responsible for the art. VTubers Hiragi Yu and Meow Moonified also provided voices for the PFAL students in the video. Rene's opening number was Gate Open Start and would continue to perform various songs, attempt to pour a cup of tea and miss, and show off her 3D model while cleaning her room before the guests arrived. Guests that included Hololive Myths Takanashi Kiara, with Itori saying, imagine being squished in the middle, and also Hololive's cosplaying Captain Marine, where fellow genmate Koreji Oli captured the distinct height difference between the two. Oli also took time to screenshot a glimpse of armpit, tweeting wacky pie, wacky pie, wacky pie. Meanwhile, Irani Yo15 captured this shot of some side boober, saying Taskeru, being a recurring theme as Hololive Japan's cultured wacky appreciator, Tsunomaki Watame, captured this shot of Reine, as Meganet tweeted that Wacky Pie is too powerful. Meanwhile, Yopi posted her reaction to the entire showcase. Reine ended the live with the announcement of a new original song, which Mardiol, a popular Indonesian producer, was responsible for. Reine later tweeted, Finally, I can sit down and process everything. Truly an emotional experience. Meanwhile, Oli ended her Twitter thread saying, I was too much in awe that I forgot to screenshot. So proud of you for getting here, bestie. Soon the whole Holoro will be 3D too. Anya Melfisa adding to the tweet with, it's your turn next. Oli will be the next member of ID Gen 2 to have their 3D showcase taking place on July 21st. In Hololive Japan news, we turn to Shiranui Flair, who has unfortunately picked strawberry ice cream for this weekend's Splatfest, when mint choc chip is clearly the best, and has also announced that her birthday live was about to be cancelled, only to be saved by Fark, that being the 3D VR platform responsible for delivering various Hololive Cinderella Switch concerts. Flair will now be 
be hosting a short solo mini live taking place on July 15th. She's also part of a collaboration with iMirror, joining fellow genmate Shiragani Noel to release a set of themed frames for each of the talent. Claire's pair are themed on her 2021 outfit, bearing some recognizable motifs, with Noel's tortoise shell glasses representing her armor. Sakamichi, who was responsible for Flair's Vark birthday thumbnail, was also responsible for the art used in the iMirror collaboration. In other news, we check out Hololive's maid, Minato Aqua, as Hololive have just announced that a Windows version of Aquarium is now available for pre-order. The visual novel was previously only available on PS4 and Nintendo Switch, but the Windows version features an additional side story based on Twitter submissions, as well as the ability to switch the in-game language to English. Additionally, the official shop exclusive limited edition version includes a tapestry, acrylics, and the original soundtrack. Hololive have also mentioned that a Steam version of the game will be available at a later date. Next up, we take a look at Buzz Rhythm Live, a live concert taking place on July 29th, where Hoshimachi Suisei is headlining, Calliope Mori is performing, and also performing is Uzura Subaru. Subaru has announced that during the show, she will be attempting a 15-minute non-stop medley challenge. That's 15 minutes of singing, dancing, and according to her, no blinking. Fans can purchase tickets for the event, which include exclusive videos from the participating talent, as well as merchandise. Lastly, in today's news, we check out a new note from CoverCorp, which goes into a deeper dive into what is a visual maintenance, asking the creative production team what goes on behind the scenes, and talking a little bit more about Shirakami Fubuki's recent touch-up to her model. But that's everything from me. Back over to you, false. Thank you, Cody. And with even more things VTubers say, we have our co-host Lady on hand. Take it away. Thanks, false. VTuber Ayane Hilo has now graduated, having announced their invitation to their VR chat funeral, sending them off with this dedicated stream full of mutuals and woeful goodbyes. Hilo tweets out, thank you guys for everything, with everyone wishing them the best of luck on their future endeavors. Narcissistic time-space traveler Megyoni has also recently graduated, having recently debuted their summer outfit, complete with lore, having a further explanation on their Discord, saying, in the recent months, new opportunities in real life opened up for me. Slowly, I found myself becoming less focused on my content as a VTuber and more on my real-life engagements. I thought that doing something exciting like a new outfit would revive my excitement for streaming, which it did at first, but it was short-lived. That as Megyoni would finally tweet, My journey in this world was filled with heartwarming memories. Thank you, Emogis, for being part of this journey and for coming to send me off. Hellhound Wolf VTuber Cinder revealed their 2.0 debut with her brand new demon form illustrated by Nanoless and rigged by Twin Tails. With this debut also including its very own lore and background illustrated from Claro with an alternate blue version coming away from 7MC allowing the background to be fully interactive. This while Cinder also reveals her bikini Cinder figurine now available for purchase. Sun Eater Vex teases their bikini look with many in full approval saying that the new outfit has strong wine aunt at beach vibes. So that's not all as Vexoria also releases a your character here template where you two can be held like a princess or bride. It really can be me in there. Though if that's not enough Vex for you, you can now take her home as she announces with the collaboration of Makeshift that you two can get your own snake plushie today. Proud Mama, it's Mama Vale, who had recently gotten their Twitch account suspended. Though with the help of her daughter Silver Vale and many from the community, Mama Vale is back and free from Twitch jail. And speaking of being free from Twitch jail, we have Megalodon, who has finally been unbanned. That as Meg would go out to thank everyone for helping, though being unbanned isn't the only thing she's celebrating, having now gone over 30,000 followers on Twitch. With those numbers now updated to being over 35,000, Meg continues to thrive, having been recently in collaboration with Elle on the Say So show. They also plan to be checking out the virtual market, hosting their first VKIT stream July 21st. Half Demon, Half Swag, Numi has just recently sold over 800 figurines so far, and to celebrate is hosting a giveaway. That while Numi also joins MSM Talent, receiving some congratulatory fan art on their signing. Imp Jester VTuber Camilla announces that they are in collaboration with Makeship, in which you too can get your own little imp, which is showcased in some chibi fan art by Meow Ria. Though that's not all, as Camilla announces that if you look really closely, you'll see two clowns staring at each other. I'm not looking at all. Therefore, I am not a clown. And now back to you, False. Thank you, lady. And a big thanks to Melina offering up this spicy lady. While we
we have Baru Flower saying, no one can escape my gremlin army. My God, it's like looking into a mirror. And that is all for this episode. We have loads more news to share this week. But for now, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe below. Send in your VTuber news to our Discord, and we'll have more things VTubers say for you soon. Who kicked off her fur? Redo. Meanwhile, yo, yo, what? Redo. Bearing some recognizable no timo we do, we do, we do, Redo. Was also responsible for the art made used in the art made mused? Art redo. Fans can purchase tickets for the event, which include exclusive videos from the per per do per per Why? Redo. Fans can purchase tickets for the event, which exclude, exclude, no, they include, you dick. Okay, redo. Asking the creative production team, what on, what on, what on you, what on goes, what goes on? Redo. Did I do a kohai out at the beginning? Eh, okay. That as Meg Yoni would reveal their twine. Restart. That as Meg would also tweet out their final tweet saying, My journey. <laughs>